Hi, riding superstars, and welcome to this week's Pony Tales. George and I are here to present to you this week all about grooming, and not just grooming, but also about how to train your pony to allow little kids to groom because it's so important. So this little guy's learning to tie up. And so we're teaching him how to tie up, how to stand still, and I'm gonna show you how to correct those things. Then I'm going to show you how to clean out his feet and how to make sure that it's able to be done by a little, little kid, okay? So this is all about how to teach your pony how to be groomed teach you a little bit how to train him for that. And then also in the whole process, remembering who we're training them for, the little, 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 little one. Now, you'll see in other segments where we actually have Margot with George, so it's not just the training, it's Margot with George. I tie him up in his stable, because that way if she gets knocked over, she's landing on the rubber or the shavings, it's just a little bit safer. But he does need to learn what it's like to be groomed like a real horse. He's got to learn what it's like to have big horses around him so that she can be a part of the stable process and we don't have to worry about her. I personally like the cross ties, especially for the little ones. And it's not something you'd really think about with a pony, but I think it's a really safe way to do it. I like this because if you can imagine a little kid, they don't get wrapped up in the lead rope. They don't get jammed up against walls. They don't get jammed up behind ponies and they don't tend to pull back so much either. So for me, it's just a slightly safer way of um, tying them up, but you don't have to do a cross tie. You could also just do a straight tie. So as you can see, he's a little uncomfortable in this because he's only just learning his training with this. So what we do is we just groom him like we would a normal horse. He doesn't like this spraying of the, good boy, of the conditioner sprays and those sorts of things yet. Yeah, and you can see he's a little bit agitated by it. So rather than manhandling him, holding him still, I spray a bit and then I say, no, 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 wait. And I try to prevent the problems versus manhandling him and saying, stay still. So again, it's something that A, he can get comfortable with, but B, uh, 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 he, Margot can deal with later. When he gets crooked like this, the next stop is that he'll turn around. So I straighten him up again. Good boy. And then I say good. So again, he learns that when he's being good, he gets left alone. And you see already he's calmed down now because I didn't just hold him still. I gave him the time to work out how to behave. I gave him the time to get a little bit used to it and cope with it. And that's how you've got to train them so that they do it on their own free will. They stand here on their own free will versus us manhandling them and making them stand still. Because at the end of the day, the children can't do that. So again here, brush his mane. Now that he's comfortable, I push him a little bit further and go down to the level of Margot, my daughter. And I do this and you know, I might throw the brush on the ground and I might accidentally smack him with it a little bit like this because that's what kids are gonna do. And he just has to deal with it. I'm gonna brush his forelock like this. I haven't sprayed it with any conditioner, so it's a bit pulley for him, but he just has to deal with it. I'm gonna brush his face like this. <laughs> and he just has to deal with it because this is what kids are gonna do. And you saw in the beginning, he was a bit agitated because he's learning this. This is quite new for him. But how quickly he settles because he understands more and more and more that this is his job. His job is just to protect his little family. Isn't he adorable? He's so cute. I spray his tail again. Oh, and I can see he's reacting not so well there, so I'm gonna stand back up, because this is back into training mode. So I say, no, stand still. Take it step by step, straighten him out. Give him the time to behave. And notice all of my corrections are short and sharp so that he learns to do it on his own free will versus me holding him there. And I stopped there for a moment because he gave me the feeling he was gonna move. So I stopped, ah, gave him a moment to think about it. And there he got crooked. It seems like nothing, but it's the first step to being naughty. Put him back to square again. Give him a little bra, give him a little cuddle. Ah, ah. 
Put him back to square again. Good boy. So he learns that he needs to stand on his own free will. Ah, good boy. Good boy. And enjoy the grooming process. So you see, it would have been very easy for me to either A, ignore that little bit of movement, or B, manhandle him into staying in the right spot. But it's all about the pony understanding, good boy, that he has to do it on, on my terms, by himself, without me asking. And again, you can see in his little face, he's a little agitated. He's a little bit like, uh, 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 Mrs. Dickinson, what are you doing to me? I'm not sure if I like this very much. But what I do is I just keep doing it to him and there he goes, he's happy again. I just keep doing it to him so he realises that he's not going to get hurt and that actually this is all just <laughs> a big love fest, which it kind of is really. And then just as we talk about before, I'm going to throw this to my groom because it's good for him to have stuff. So wait a second. Ah, and you heard it made the noise. Again, we want to do stuff which is going to irritate him and he's not allowed to react to it. So we're going to pick out, pick out his feet a little bit here. And the point is here to show you that we still want to care for them. So again, how do we want him to pick up his foot? Just like a two-year-old child might ask him to do it. What are they going to do? Vaguely touch his leg and he's got to lift it up. Okay, I'm going to go down to the level of my child again. And again, you can see I'm not doing much to hold his foot up. He's doing that himself. And that's really important because your little, your little ones just don't have the strength to do that. Then we're going to pick his foot out. And we're going to make a few mistakes. So we all know that we should pick our feet out going away from the frog like so. But we're going to do it a little bit like this. We're going to do that a little bit. I'm not poking him really hard, but I'm making that mistake a little bit. So that he can tolerate it being done a little bit bad. So we want him to realise that actually it's all okay and it's nice and safe and easy. And again, you can see he's just holding his foot up very much by himself. I'm not doing that. This is what my two-year-old's gonna do. He has to be happy to deal with this. Whoa, and there he's not, so I say, hey. But I hold him for a moment and then I go back to soft again. So it's only that moment of me holding my whole hand around his ankle that says, hey, or fetlock that says, hey, wait for me, and then I let it go again. So again, he's doing everything off his own free will, and then I make it a winnable situation. He's obviously getting a little tired and irritated with this now. Uh -uh. So I wait. Uh -uh. Good boy. Good boy. Until he's floppy and on his own free will again, and then I put it down on my terms. So I don't go, oh, he's tired, he's a bit irritated, I'm going to stop now. I wait a little bit. Let's do a back foot as well. So again, the same thing, lift it up, nice and gentle, so I'm not doing too much work. And with the back leg, put it in different positions. Put it here, because sometimes the kids are going to hold it right here. Put it here, hold it out a little bit, move it around into all different ways. Be awkward about it, lean on him, put your head on his little hock. Do all the weird things that kids are going to do so that he realises that, you know what, you just have to look after the person that's on the ground. And it's actually quite fun when you get the hang of it. And last but not least, guys, we're going to paint his little toes. What little girl doesn't want to paint their pony's toenails? I mean, would you want to, Amy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, here we go. Little bit of brush. And what I want to see him do here is not move his little feet. That he keeps his little feet on the ground, no matter how much I lean on him, no matter how what angles I come from. What? Ah, good boy. That he just stays there and lets me paint his little feet. And I know it seems like a silly thing, but this is what your kids love. They just love to do this sort of stuff. Paint his leg accidentally. Get all kick, oh, and accidentally paint his ear and just let him deal with it. And you see, this is very much in the training phase for him. The other segments he's a little bit more established in. And you can see at the beginning, he was quite irritated by it all. But now he's, you know, he's pretty happy about it. So it shows that it's just about re repetition 
and remembering who you're training him for. You're training him for someone that's this big, you know? So he's gotta be able to look after someone who's this big. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you saw, it was nice for him to, to, for you to see him not completely finished result. He's still in training here and see the aspects of issues that you might come across. Can't wait to see you in the next pony journey. And please guys, and in the comments underneath, tell me about the things you're learning. Tell me about some of your problems and hopefully I can help you out with those as well. So I really hope you enjoyed that guys. I hope you enjoyed the fact that there is an actual way to train these guys and it's a really manageable, easy thing to do for anybody, whether it's your first pony or whether you're a seasoned competitor on big horses, it's all really easy. Remember guys, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We need your help to be able to give more back to the community, to be able to help more people in real life. We would love to be able to train a little guy like this and maybe give him away one day. We'd, we've had people come in for a month recently. We're about to help them out in person. We want to do more and more of this, but to be able to do that, we need to let this channel grow. So please guys, subscribe. Show, tell us what you want to hear. Any topics you want to know about, we are going to make happen for you. I can't wait to see you next time. And yeah, see you for next Pony Tales. Bye. Mwah.